Anomaly detection alerts are a powerful new way to stay on top of and get notified uh, when anomalies occur in your data sets. So while you could always previously view your anomalies by visiting the QuickSight dashboard itself, you can now receive email notifications when new anomalies are found in the data sets. You can see in the screenshot here in the email that I've received, not only does it tell you that an anomaly has occurred, but if you've configured contribution analysis on that anomaly, it will also give you a summary of what were the biggest drivers behind what drove that up or down. So the contribution analysis is equally, if not a, a more powerful part about, uh, about exploring your anom anomalies. So let's take a look about how this is configured in QuickSight. So here I have an example dashboard where I have a few different anomalies set uh, configured to be detected. So I have some on my revenue metric at a daily level, uh, some on sales at a monthly level by, um, by city, similarly also by my different customers. One other new thing that you'll notice is that on dashboards, this explore anomalies link will be visible for the end users, for your readers. You, uh, the author of this and the analysis, you can turn this link off if you'd like, but we've tried to make this more discoverable so that when an anomaly is found, you can explore them further by using the contribution analysis, by using the filters on the top, by looking historically across anomalies by date. So here I can see historically how many were found, etc. But to configure an alert on one of these anomalies, if you make a selection and you use the pull down arrow, you have a new option here to say, I want to configure an alert. So you have a couple of options here in terms of uh, configurability. The first is what sensitivity would you like to be, uh, inc or how many anomalies would you like to receive via email based on sensitivity, essentially? So if I choose low and above, it will include low, medium, high, and very high sensitivity. Uh, excuse me, I should say severity. So low severity would mean that it's um, maybe just a small increase or a small decrease, or very high would be uh, a very stark increase or decrease. So when I want to see low severity and higher, medium and higher, high and higher, or just very high. And then lastly, I can also configure do I only care about anomalies that were higher than their expected value or things that were lower than the expected value? So did they go up or did they go down? So if I choose, let's, let's choose low and above and I'll leave the direction on all. I wanna see um, if they go up or down. So it saves that alert for me, my personal user. And now it uh, indicates that an alert is active here by showing this uh, icon here on the anomaly itself. So each user that wants to receive an alert can go and configure this from the dashboard itself. You can also configure alerts while you're exploring anomalies. So either through this menu or if I choose to explore anomalies uh, from, from here. And here you can see you can configure the alert from the exploration area as well. So I've already configured this one, so it already has my settings. So I can either delete it or I can update the settings for this one. So on this anomaly, I've also configured some contribution analysis. So my, my primary dimension I'm looking for anomalies across uh, is location. So here it's showing me that I found one for India. But uh, I've asked it to do contribution analysis based on my product field. So on the left-hand side here, I can see while India had dropped quite a bit in that particular day, the primary reason it had dropped was because office supplies had dropped from about 36K to 29K. And similarly, books was the, the second highest contributor to that. And then this same information is also visible in the email alert that I receive. So when new anomalies are found, you'll receive an email that looks like this. So one new was found, you, you can configure up to uh, five anomalies to be shown to, in these emails. 
where it shows me what the anomaly itself was, as well as any contribution analysis that I configured for that. So I have only configured contribution analysis on one of my other dimensions, but if you had configured it on up to four others, it will show the distribution across all four of those dimensions. And then if this is something that when I start my day and I, I see this here and I want to go explore it further, then you can click the hyperlink to go explore the anomalies in that interface in QuickSight. All right, so I hope you enjoy and make use of the new alerting functionality on anomaly detection. Thank you.